beginning of his career, Cleveland's Kid Cudi has effortlessly fused his love for rock into his love for hip hop to create a unique sound. She said, I keep on rocking. take a look at a few of Kid Cudi's rock influences. First up is Ratatat's Mike Shroud and Evan Mass, the masterminds behind the 2009 track Pursuit of Happiness featuring fellow electronic rock duo MGMT. <laughs> With layered synths and epic guitar solos, the track blends an ethereal electronic sound with fundamental rock, making it one of Cutter's most popular songs. I'll be fine once I get it. I'll be good, good. He just can't get on a stage unless he performs Pursuit of Happiness, like the crowd will riot. <laughs> they became frequent collaborators of Cuddy's, aiding in the transformative sound of Man on the Moon with Alive. Every time the moon shines, I become alive. Yeah. And when Kid Cuddy flipped Ratatat sunblocks on his Lucy Love. On his sophomore album, Man on the Moon 2, Cuddy doubled down on the rock influence sound with a number of tracks, like the anthemic Ruff of Ed, which features a sample from 70s Greek rock band 2002. <laughs> aforementioned Kanye West's assisted pop rock ballad, Erase Me. Erase Me producer Jim Johnson explained that Cuddy gravitated to rock music. I played him a couple of tracks and decided let me just play him this batch here and see and he really liked this one that had a lot of rock influence, you know? He was all open to do it and killed it. The haunting 2010 track Maniac used rocker St. Vincent's vocals from her 2009 cut, The Strangers. Lover, I don't play to win, but for the thrill until I'm Genius joined forces to release their collaborative effort Wizard that included a range of rock influences. Cuddy flexes guitar traps by using power chords, a mainstay in heavy metal, to produce an angst filled foundation for the Rebel track High Off Life. My guitarist, Sean Martin, showed me how to do power chords. I just ran with it. That was the first riff I came up with, and uh, this is so dope. It's like a sense of urgency instantly as soon as you hear it, and it's so powerful. <laughs> MGMT, familiar faces from Pursuit of Happiness, served as a source of inspiration for the 2012 electronic rock album. And of course, who could forget the love Scott Muscutty showed the band during their 2014 Coachella set, saying, MGMT, thanks for letting me groove with you. My face was melting and I felt so fucking free. Potentially Wizard's greatest influence was one of Cuddy's faves, 90s cult favorite Nirvana, which Genius News touched on in August 2019. Cuddy and Doc covered the band's rendition of Where Did You Sleep Last Night, hoping to follow in the footsteps of Nirvana's final album, In Utero. My girl, my girl, don't lie to me. Tell me where did you sleep last night? Trying new things pushing the envelope, pushing boundaries. Kurt has always been an inspiration with all that. It's like the world gets to see what it would sound like if you were around today. And I try to use him as my muse whenever I can. With that foundation laid, Cutter continued to incorporate his love for rock into his music, enlisting Father John Misty and Haim on Indicut. Going insane, and I really don't know why. There's only one thing to do. I'm the night on a red eye. Red eye. Through the night on a red eye, red eye. One of Cuddy's most notable forays across genres was 2015's Speed and Bullet to Heaven, a venture away from the hip-hop fusion of his past to embody a more traditional rock sound. The album received mixed reviews, but showed an evolution in Cutter's technical skills.
His subsequent albums, Passion, Pain, and Demon's Land and the Kanye West collab, Kids See Ghosts, both had their own rock moments too. On the Travis Scott buddy cut, Baptized in Fire, Cuddy sampled electronic rock composer, Mort Garson. In the early 90s rock band, Crash Test Dummies may have influenced the rapper Signature Hums heard throughout his career. Their album, God Shuffled His Feet, was his first music purchase. He said that it was from when the cousin smashed his sword. denying Kid Cudi's love for rock, and since introducing his expansive world to hip-hop, he's creating a lasting legacy in music history. What'd we miss? Let us know in the comments. I'm Delisa with Genius News, bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music. At home. What songs can we expect to hear tonight? The good ones. <laughs> Such as? The really good ones.